and welcome back and what you can see here are the start of the solar panel mount system that we were talking about earlier in which we're going to have 19 100 watt panels and we have elected to go with uh, some other individuals have gone with and that would be unistrut and you can see that we've got the unistrut in the ground two feet cemented in place uh, doubled up for strength uh, we got our fronts in and our rears and the way we did this was uh, these two pieces are bolted together you can see it down in there on the top as well as uh, two feet below there's another bolt on the bottom and the bolt on the bottom sticks out about a, a good three four inches beyond the unistrut just to give the concrete some something extra grip to uh, so the sides are just two pieces that are butted together and the way we started this was we got our determined where we wanted our first corner here and then we built everything referenced off of this corner so you can see our back pillar there and our other two fronts and then our other two back pieces now the the angle for this area for solar panels per to per a few websites and it does vary by the month but generally about a 30 to 35 degree angle from where I'm where I'm at does a pretty good job of covering most um, of the year so once we got this first set of columns in place and had it set and let the concrete set up we then took a another piece of unistrut which we'll have a piece of unistrut on the end here going up at an angle and hooking to that one. So you'll have one piece going that way. We used that to get our degree and that gave us our roughly our length of our back feet. Now because these brackets will slide up and down into this channel and will turn a little bit, we do have some additional granularity um, of the angle. but. That gave us our, our back roughly was just doing that piece. And then once we had these back pillars in place, we used them as a reference for the other two. So in a sense, what we're going to have here is that you're going to have one piece here on this end going up, attaching to that side. You'll have two pieces in the center going up, giving us our angle, and then a piece on the rear. And the length of this is just under 20 feet. What we're going to have, and what you can kind of see here, is that roughly what we end up with is two 10 foot wide sections that are butted together in the middle. So the pieces that will be going from left to right, and there'll be four of them on each side, will attach on the strut going up the vertical from post to post, and to go from that end to the center one here and there'll be four of them and there'll be another four that'll attach to the second pillar going up and then completing on this end and the reason why we elected to uh, put our unistrut this way or a super strut this way I should say is just to mimic kind of what you see standing out in the yard right there with these six 100 watt panels on them so you've got kind of one main beam that goes up and you have four left to right beams that the clamps and everything else uh, currently mount to. Uh, but this is the way that we elected to do ours. And you probably noticed that we did paint the uh, unistrut or superstrut, however you want to call it. Um, these are galvanized, so it's not particularly necessary to do that, but uh, it only takes a few extra minutes to paint these and give you the uh, just an extra layer of protection since these were going to be buried in the ground and uh, also covered with cement. But uh, once we get the rest of the hardware in, we'll bring you back as we continue to get this assembled. And then we'll kind of show you how it all fits together. <laughs> 